today I am explaining lines and angles in that exercise 7. Fill up the blanks. The lines which intersect two or more lines at distinct point is called. The lines which intersect at two or more points at distinct points is, is called. Is called transversal line. Okay. Next if the pair of this line, this line is transversal line. Second one, if the pair of alternate interior angles are equal, then the lines are parallel. The sum of interior angles on the same side of transversal are sum, supplementary, then the lines are parallel. If two lines intersect each other, then the number of common points they have. If two lines intersect each other, then the number of common points they have, one. Second question is, in the adjacent figure, the lines L, M are parallel and N is transversal line. Fill in the blanks for the for situation given below. If angle 1, they have given angle 1 is equal to 80 degrees. And they are asking angle 2. Here angle 1 and angle 2, they are linear pair. Means sum of these two angles is 180. Angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180. Angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. In the, in the question they have given angle 1 is equal to 80 degrees. Okay. I will write here. 80 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. So, Angle 2 is equal to 180 minus 80. That is 100 degrees. Angle 2 is 100 degrees. I will write this one here. Angle 2, 100 degrees. Okay. Here, angle 3, angle three they have given 45 degrees. And they are asking angle 7. These are alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles are equal. Alternate interior angles are equal. So, angle 3 is equal to 45 degrees. Angle 7 also 45 degrees. Here, next question. Angle 2 is equal to 90 degrees. They have given. Angle 2, 90 degrees. They have given. They are asking, find the angle 8. These two are, angle 2 and angle 8 are vertically opposite angles. Angle 2 and angle 8 are vertically opposite angles. I will write that one. Here, angle 3 and angle 7 are Alternate interior angles. Angle 3, angle 7 or alternate interior angles. And they are equal. Okay. So, Angle 3 value 45 degrees. So, angle 7 value also 45 degrees. Next, 2 and 8. These are vertically opposite angles. I will write about that one. Angle 2 comma angle 8 are vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. So, they are also equal. So, angle 2 value 90 degrees. So, angle 8 value also 90 degrees. Okay. Uh, next, fourth question. Angle 4 they have given and they are asking angle 8. These two angles are alternate exterior angles. They are outside, no? So, alternate exterior angles and they are equal. Angle 4 comma angle 8 are alternate alternate exterior angles so they are also equal so angle 4 value how much 100 degrees angle 8 value also 100 degrees second question third question find the measures of x y z in the figure where l is parallel to b c here, 75 and Y, they are interior alternate angles. These are two side, two angles are inside. So, and they are alternate angles. Okay. So, interior angles, interior 
alternate angles. So, these two angles are equal. 75 is equal to y. y is equal to 75 degrees. Alternate interior angles. Okay. And z and 45 also alternate interior angles. So, z is equal to 45 degrees. Okay. And here this three form a, this three angles form a straight angle. 75, x and 45. That's three angles form a straight angle. 75 plus so the sum of these three angles is 180. x plus 45 is equal to 180 degrees. Straight angle. Seventy five plus forty five how much? One twenty degrees plus x is equal to one eighty degrees. So x is equal to one eighty minus one twenty degrees is equal to sixty degrees. That's it. X is equal to sixty degrees. Okay. Fourth question is A B C D is a quadrilateral. In which AB parallel to DC and AD parallel to BC. Find angle B, angle C and angle D. Here AB parallel to DC and AD parallel to BC. So this will become parallelogram. So ABCD is a parallelogram. So here angle A and angle C are vertically opposite angles. So angle A is equal to angle C vertically opposite angles. Angle A value how much? 50 degrees. So angle C value also 50 degrees. And 50 and D. These two angles interior angles on the same side of transversal or supplementary. Here I will write that one. Interior angles on the same side of transversal or supplementary. So, angle D, angle D plus angle 50 is equal to 180 degrees. Angle D plus angle 50 is equal to 180 degrees. So, angle D is equal to 180 minus 50. That is 130 degrees. So, angle D value is 130 degrees. Okay. And here angle D and angle B also Vertically opposite angles. So they are equal. Angle B is equal to angle D is equal to 130 degrees. So from this angle B is equal to 130 degrees. So why what vertically opposite angles? Okay. Fifth question is, in a given figure, L and M are intersected by a transversal N. This is L, this is M. Okay. Is L parallel to M they are asking? Here, here let us take this angle as uh, X. Okay. Here, they have given angle 100 here and angle 80 here. I will find out this angle. This two, sum of these two angles is 180. Why? This is straight line and they are also adjacent angles they are linear pair okay so x plus 100 is equal to 180 degrees all right linear pair linear pair so x plus 100 x is equal to 180 minus 100 how much 80 degrees here 
this one is 80 degrees and this one is 80 degrees. These two angles are corresponding angles. So, x, this angle is x and this angle, these corresponding angles are, so from this we can say that corresponding angles are equal. Are equal. So, from this we can say that L and M are corresponding angles are equal. So, L and, L and M are L and M are parallel lines. So, L comma L comma M are parallel lines. Next, next question. Find angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D and angle E in the figure. Give reasons. Here these lines are, these lines are parallel lines. These lines are uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. These are parallel lines. So, alternate interior angles are equal. So, angle A is equal to 50 degrees. Angle B is equal to 50 degrees. Angle C is equal to 50 degrees. Angle D is equal to 50 degrees. Angle E is equal to 50 degrees. That's it. Exercise complete.